guys, it's Kendra here. So today I'm going to be doing my hygiene routine for you guys because like I think a few months ago Kelsey did hers and I saw a few of you guys wanted me to do mine and I'm just not getting around to it because I don't want ours to be too close together. So I just decided to film this today for you guys. I'm not going to really talk about my skincare routine too much in this video, just mainly what I do like from the neck down like in the shower. I'm not going to take you guys inside the shower with me, that'll be a little bit too personal for me. But um, I am going to show you guys like what I use and like everything I do and stuff like that. So. so even though I'm not talking about my skincare routine in this video, I will tell you guys what I do when I first get home because I feel like it's still necessary to mention it in the hygiene routine. So the first thing that I do when I get home like from doing anything, if I'm wearing makeup that day, I will take off my makeup. And I'll use these makeup remover wipes. Y'all know these are my favorite ones. These are the clean and clear nighttime relaxing all-in-one cleansing wipes. I will use these and lately I've also been using these Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes, the hydrating kind. And I really like this one. I used to use the blue ones like years ago and I recently saw this in like Ulta and I've been using this sometimes too. So I like to alternate between these two. I've just become a makeup wipe junkie just because I don't want to run out. So I will take off my makeup with one of these and it takes off my eye makeup everything so I have to take my makeup off when I get home. That's the first thing I do. And then after that I will hop in the shower and I will start with um, this body wash. I've been using this lately. This is the Herbal Essences Body Wash in the Hello Hydration and I know, crazy right? I didn't even know Herbal Essences had body wash. I was like, why they got shampoo in the body wash section and I was like, Wait a minute, Kelsey was like, let's say body wash. And I was like, oh my gosh, it does say body wash. And I used to love this scent like years ago. And I used to use the conditioner from the Hello Hydration line. And I just smelt it and it just brought back so many summer memories. <sighs> oh my gosh, this, this body wash smells amazing. It just smells exactly like the shampoo and conditioner. If you guys have, have smelt that before, it pretty much smells identical to it. So when I get in the shower, I'll wash my body with a body wash. Um, lately, it's been this one first. And then I'll use my loofah. It looks like it's falling apart because I'm just so rough in the shower. I just want to get clean. But this is um, my purple and white one. I got this one from Target. I've been through like two or three of these already. And then every other day, not every single day, I will exfoliate my body all over. And I've been loving this Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub from Lush. It says it's a vodka infused cocktail for bright, fresh skin says go coconuts with our best-selling sea salt scrub and I've never tried a sea salt scrub this is my first time trying it and let me just tell y'all I'm obsessed with this stuff and for me exfoliating has become very very essential in particular for my legs because if you guys don't know Kelsey and I have keratosis pilaris it's like a um like when you have really small bumps on your legs and it's just not cute I hate it um, it's really annoying and I never really knew what to do to make that go away. Kind of um, help that. So I've recently discovered that exfoliating helps so, so much. Exfoliating and moisturizing, but we'll get to that later. So I've been using this every other day. And if I'm not using the um, Ocean Sea Salt, I will use a sugar scrub. And this is the, the Somerset Toiletry Company, the Tropical Fruits. And the smell of this is amazing. Like when I tell y'all... It's just, this one is good too, but obviously this is a, a sea salt scrub and this is a sugar scrub. I will say that this one is a lot more harsh than this one. So if you don't like harsh scrubs, I wouldn't recommend a sugar scrub. I would go for a salt one, but um, I don't really mind. I like both of them, but this, I just love the way this one smells. It's really refreshing and this one is more sweet. Um, it is coconut and banana, so I will exfoliate my entire body every other day. Sometimes I might go a little crazy and do every other day because I'm just like, I don't want my legs to go crazy again with the um, keratosis pilaris. And if you guys have that, I would highly recommend exfoliating because like it just changed my life. I know I'm sounding dramatic, but it just made a huge difference, especially since spring and summer are coming up. But for me, like year round, I just like my legs to be smooth and exfoliating really, really makes a huge difference. Like I'm just obsessed with it now. Like I never ever want to run out of exfoliators for my body because it's just really important to me to have smooth skin and I'm touching my legs now and I don't even feel it anymore like that's how much of a difference it makes obviously wash my body twice every single day because I'm just crazy like that I feel like kind of like when you wash your hair like when you shampoo your hair you 
leather once repeat kind of thing with your hair I do the same thing with my body I feel like it applies to your body hygiene as well after I do this body wash I will exfoliate with one of these two and then I will do a caress body wash so I will wash my body exfoliate then wash it again that's just how it works for me and I just like that routine better so I will exfoliate in between each time I wash my body so I would do that and then after I do that I know you guys are wondering what about the JJ. I use the Summer's Eve Sensitive Skin Cleansing Wash for sensitive skin and I know what you guys are thinking you're not supposed to use anything down there which is why I use this in particular just for my down there area because I cannot stand using body wash down there even if a little gets down there I just it irritates it and if you guys don't know it uh, the fragrance from some body washes throw off your pH balance down there uh, if you're confused about it just ask your uh, gynecologist he or she will tell you what that is and this stuff like it's not irritating at all like it has no scent which is why I got the simply sensitive one because I don't like anything scented to go down there uh, this brand has a, like like fragrance ones but for me I just don't like that and this has been working for me I've been using this for a couple of years now and it hasn't done anything out of the ordinary she's fine down there so I like it and that's the only kind I will use I won't use anything else I will only use the sensitive skin so like the hot pink packaging for this obviously down there it cleans itself but I just like to be safe safer than sorry and especially when it's the time of the month I know I'm getting real personal but we're all girls here hopefully let me know if y'all feel like this that time of the month you just want to feel like a little extra clean down there like I have baby wipes nearby every time I use the bathroom like that's how crazy I am I just I just need to feel clean down there like I said especially when it's that time of the month but I will use that every day obviously just like I do my body wash and then after I wash my body exfoliate and then wash my down there uh, obviously I'll get out of the shower I will do my skincare routine after I get out of the shower but I'm not gonna mention that in this video because I'm gonna do an entire video on that I'll probably do a get I'm ready with me kind of like the one Kelsey had so I can show you guys what I do at night for my skin so I will do that whole routine and then I will apply my lotion so the lotion obviously that I use is the Nivea bonus I was gonna read the bonus thing they said 25% more it's not the name Kendra the Nivea essentially enriched body lotion says it nourishes and enriches it has almond oil and hydro IQ whatever that is deep and long-lasting moisture is the richest formula formula that they have and this is the only one that I will buy from Nivea uh, I won't use any other lotion brand like in the drugstore because Nivea has not done me wrong yet and I am just gonna keep buying it because I'm obsessed with it and this is the best drugstore lotion on the market I don't like Suave I don't like Vaseline I don't like Jergens like all of it is just really watered down to me compared to this one and I feel like what's the point even though it's cheaper what's the point of even buying lotion if it's not gonna work that's just how I see it this one is like five or six dollars I know it's kind of high for a drugstore but I just can't put a price on my skin and being smooth and having like soft nice skin when I'm not using my Nivea lately I've been loving this sympathy for the skin hand and body lotion from lush this smells like bananas and if you are not a fan of bananas I would not recommend this and when I say bananas like fresh fresh Akita bananas like it smells so good but it's not like strong it's a really light scent so um, it's not that overpowering so if you're not a fan of scents I don't think this will bother you that much but if you like the smell of banana you will absolutely love this and I am obsessed with this lotion and you probably can't see from here I'll probably do a close-up but it has like the itty bitty little brown little you can see like the little grains from the banana it says fresh bananas and coconut butter on the skin what more could be luxurious it says a gorgeous vanilla lemon oil and sandalwood perfume so it's a really warm scent but I love it for nighttime because it's just like really relaxing and it makes my skin so so soft it's um it's just as good as the Nivea so if you're looking for like another lotion I was just getting bored you know sometimes you get bored obviously I still love my Nivea but on the days when I want to put on something different I'll use this and I've been using 
grabbing for this a lot more lately because it's newer. I would highly recommend you guys try Sympathy for the Skin. I know they have other lotions, but I just wanted to grab that one because I heard really good reviews on it and a lot of people had good things to say about it. After I put my lotion on, I would put deodorant on. Now, everything I just mentioned in this video, if y'all do not want to do everything I did, like apply your body wash, scrub, then another body wash, if y'all don't want to be all complicated like me, please put on some deodorant. This is one thing that you do not want to leave out of your hygiene routine. If nothing is mandatory, deodorant should be mandatory for everybody, okay? I use the uh, 48 hour guaranteed protection degree expert. This is the motion sense, uh, sexy intrigue. I, I don't really care about what it says. I just wanted to work. Uh, th that was kind of a mouthful, but um, I've recently been loving degree deodorant. Um, I used to be like a secret girl. I still use secret sometimes, but I've been really loving the degree deodorant. It just has a regular fresh deodorant smell. The only thing that I wished, I wish degree had like a gel like deodorant because that's what I really love about the secret. Um, which is why I use that sometimes but depending on like what kind of shirt I'm wearing it doesn't really matter to me sometimes so I'll just use this one especially for like working out and stuff but I really like the degree deodorant and I will put on deodorant at night before I go to sleep and in the daytime before I walk out the door just to be on the safe side right before I go to sleep like I don't like to sleep in socks if y'all don't know this but I can't stand the feeling of socks when I go to sleep like I just feel claustrophobic and like I just it's uncomfortable to me I don't feel free I just get hot too quick and I don't like to be hot when I'm asleep so with that being said I like to apply my heel genius um you're supposed to put on socks which is why I mentioned the whole I don't like sleeping in socks thing um but this says it's the heel genius amazing foot cream it says it's better than a pedicure it is from soap and glory I got this from Sephora I really really like this stuff but one thing I will say like it's not amazing amazing but you do feel like the difference in your feet it's a uh, heel genius but I just put it on my entire foot and it's a lot of people say they don't really care for the smell but I kind of like the smell in a weird way it's like a fresh clean smell so I kind of like that but since you're supposed to um, put on socks with this before you go to sleep so you're supposed to put on cotton socks, which is like, mm -mm, like no. But I will put this on. I will make sure I do everything I need to do before I put this on and get in the bed because I don't want to walk walk on my feet after I put this on. So I'll make sure I brush my teeth and done all that. By the way, I don't have like what kind of toothpaste I use in here. It's just Colgate. Um, obviously, brush your teeth uh, is mandatory, just like deodorant. But I didn't bring it in here because I didn't think you guys care to see my toothpaste. I have to brush my teeth and do like all my skincare stuff like right out of the shower so and my lotion everything I will make sure I do this last because I can't get out of the bed after I put this on my feet I just feel weird after I put this on my feet and like walk on the carpet so I make sure I've done everything that I need to do with myself before I get in the bed and put this on because after I put this on I'm not getting out of the bed at all I'm here for the night. Um, sometimes it's kind of annoying when I have to get up in the middle of the night to go pee. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, right before I put on my heel genius, because I don't want to be like all nasty. I don't want y'all to be like, oh, she do that right after she put that on her feet. No. I do this before the heel genius, and this is the Agave um, Lip Mask from Bite Beauty. I got this from Sephora as well. So I would do this before I put this on my feet, okay? Let's just be clear with that. Um, this is just a lip mask and I absolutely love this stuff. It's like super, super thick and it, a lot of people like the smell. I'm not that crazy about the smell. It just has like a kind of sweet smell, but it's not that special to me. But the actual product is like amazing. Like I love this stuff. It's kind of pricey, but it's worth it to me because I always like to put something on my lips before I go to sleep because I don't want like crusty nasty lips that's not cute so I will put this on my lips before I go to sleep so that is pretty much all I do for my hygiene routine so I hope it wasn't too long for you guys hopefully you guys try out some of these products I highly recommend all of them yeah that is it for my hygiene routine um Kelsey and I have more videos for you guys to come oh yeah and if you guys don't know Kelsey and I will be at Generation Beauty uh I think it's next weekend so yeah we will be in LA for like almost a week next week so I'm really excited for that 
And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. We only like it if it's loud, if it's loud.